Welcome to Selenium Master video tutorial. In this video tutorial, you will learn how to use setup and teardown on test suite and test case level. Robot Framework provides setup and teardown method at test suite and test case level. So we should use the functionality of the test suite and test case in order to initialize the test suite and the test cases. Let's use the Mahara test project as an example. We opened the Mahara test project login test suite with robot framework ID right. And we have a test suite named login suite. If you look at the window on the right side, we have test suite setup, suite teardown, test setup, test teardown, test template, test timeout, force tags, default tags. The setup and the teardown method at the test suite level will run at test suite level. In other words, the setup method will run when the test suite is initialized. And teardown method will run when the test suite is completed. Test setup and test teardown. Test setup will run when each test case is started and test teardown will execute when each test case is completed. We added a test case called user change settings. In this test, a valid user logs on the system and change a user settings. Let's see an example. We opened the Mahara demo website and we used login credential to log in the system. Username we type in student1. For password we type in testing1. Click on login. After logging in, we click on the settings link. And we have maximum tags in cloud. For example, let's change it to 25. And click on save button. Now 25 is here and we clicked on the logout button and we close the browser. So in this test case, user change settings. Test case is valid user can change a user setting after logging in. Test steps are following. Click on the settings link. Change maximum tags in cloud text box value to 30. Click on the save button. Verify that maximum tag in the cloud text box value should be 30. We click on the OK button and save it. So let's look at the test suite structure. In this login test suite, we created four custom keywords. First custom keyword is open browser and maximize window. This keyword has two lines, open browser and maximize browser window. And second keyword is close browser and quit. 
we just use the existing closed browser. Third one is user login. We have already discussed this test case in previous video tutorial. Please watch the video tutorial if you have any questions on the user login keyword. In this keyword, we wait until the submit button is visible and input username, input password, click on submit button and page should contain element logout link and user logout. Wait until page element is visible, logout link and click on the logout link wait for the submit button is visible so you can add or create keywords just right click on the login suite and click on new user keyword under keyword you can include any documentation test case and test steps you can also include teardown and timeout and return value. We have also added another resource file, user setting UI. This resource file includes three elements, settings link, maximum tags in cloud, and user settings save button. We use these elements in the test case user change settings. So let's click on the login suite and look at the structure. So at the test suite level, we have three actions. We open the browser and maximize browser window. And once the test suite is completed, we close the browser and quit. So for suite setup, we entered open browser and maximize window keyword. For suite teardown, we typed in close browser and quit keyword. For test setup, we use user login. For test teardown, we use user logout. If you add another test case, you don't need to set up and tear down at the test level because we have already set up the test, set up tear down method at the uh, test suite level. So now let's look at the test steps in user change settings. After a user, a valid user is logged on the system, we wait until the settings link is visible and next step is click on the settings link. Wait until the max tags in cloud text box is visible. We enter the number 30 in the text box. We click on the save button. At this line, number six, we have added a keyword slip. This will wait five seconds. Please remember that in test automation, you need to avoid any hard coded wait time. Instead, you can use wait until page contains element or wait until element is visible. So next one is get element attribute. This text field maximum tag box has a value attribute named value. The number 30 is assigned to the value when a user types in any value. So instead of using get text, we just read the uh, value attribute and get the number. 
So get element attribute will return the value attribute of the element maximum tags in cloud. Log keyword will log the value on the output. The last one is the assertion should be equal. The maximum tag box value should be 30. So now this test case is completed. Let's execute the test. We click on the run tab and click start. So the test is completed and test passed. Let's look at the log file. Let's click on the log. Let's expand the login suite. So under the login suite, uh, we have some metadata that captured system environment variables like computer name, operating system, uh, number of processors, and the version of the test script. And the setup method, it executed open browser and maximized window, and teardown method it executed close browser and equate. Now let's look at the test case user change settings. So the documentation includes the test case documentation we have put on the test case documentation field. And setup is user login and teardown is user logout. So each keyword is executed successfully. And let's look at the log. The maximum tag box value equal to get element attribute. This is the element, we get the attribute value. So we log it, the value it's 30. Now on the final step, we do the assertion. And this keyword is a built-in keyword, should be equal. Maximum tag box value equal to 30. This test passed. So if you look at the test structure, please remember that the open browser, maximize browser window, and close browser. These keywords ran on the test suite level and user login and user logout keywords run on the test case level. When you add another test case or multiple test cases, you don't need to specify the test setup and the teardown because we have already set up the setup method and teardown method on the test suite level. In this video tutorial, you learned how to use Switch Setup, Switch Teardown, Test Setup, and Test Teardown. If you have any questions, please visit the robotframework.org website. And for more examples, please visit www seleniummaster.com website. Thanks for watching.